Hello, boys and girls. Hello, everyone. It's reading time. Today we're reading Molly Morningstar, A Doll for Me, written by Andrea Koch, illustrated by M. Fernanda Orzoko. Molly Morningstar, A Doll for Me. To the children and all of us who just wants to feel seen. Molly peeks over her mama's shoulder. Hurry, mama. What does it say? I'll read it to you, says mama. To Molly Morningstar. It's my birthday. I'm having a tea party. I hope you can come. My mom's baking a cake, and you can have some. Bring your favorite doll for a really great time as a super special guest of mine. Love, Emma. Gippie! I love going to Emma's house, shouts Molly. She has lots of toys. Molly runs to her room. Come on, Boomer. Help me choose my best doll. Molly looks around for a special doll to take to the party. She looks on her shelf. She looks in her toy box. She looks under her bed. Boomer helps her by nudging a doll with his nose. How about this one? He seems to say. You sure have made a mess, Mama says. Which doll have you chosen? I don't want to take any of these dolls to the party, moans Molly. Molly looks at herself in the mirror. Emma has lots of pretty dolls, and they all look like her. I wish I had a doll that looks like me. Molly and her mom go shopping for a new doll. The nice lady in the store says, this is our number one best doll. Molly looks at the doll. She looks at a long row of dolls on the shelf. She shakes her head. No, these dolls all look the same. Molly and her mama look online. Nope, nothing here, says mama. Just take what you have. It's just a doll. It's not a big deal. Molly feels sad. At breakfast, Molly only eats half of her pancakes. She doesn't touch her chocolate milk. Her papa asks, What's wrong, Molly Morningstar? I can't find the right doll to take to the party. My dolls look like Emma, not me. Papa says, Don't worry, kiddo. Maybe one day we'll find a doll that looks like you. I know what I'll do, shouts Molly. I'll make my own doll. But you don't know how to make a doll, says Mama. You'll see, Molly answers quietly. While Mama takes a nap, Molly is eager to get started. Let's see, Molly says to Boomer. Where shall we begin? I know, Mama's drunk drawer. Molly pulls the handle. The drawer is stuck, she says. Boomer tugs and tugs, then one, two, three, yank. The drawer pops open and everything tumbles out. Look, it's your favorite sock, says Molly. Boomer wags his tail. And Mama's earring and candy. Boomer helps Molly haul their treasures to the playroom. He watches as Molly bends and cuts and glues and stuffs and paints. Hmm, says Molly, looking in the mirror. Now she needs hair. Boomer yelps, then leaps out of the room. Molly runs after him. Perfect. Mama's knitting yarn. Perfect. Molly and Boomer carry away, heaping piles of yarn. Thump. 
A big spool of shimmery brown yarn topples to the floor. Molly, what a mess, says Mama. Sorry, Mama, but look at my doll. She looks just like me. While Molly cleans up the mess, she holds her new doll in her arms and softly sings. We're going to a party. How exciting this will be. We are perfect twins. I'm sure that you can see. We will go together to have a joyous day. Feeling oh so grateful as we love and laugh and play. After dinner, Molly puts the final touches on her doll. Ta-da! This doll is lucky to have you, kiddo, says Papa. The day of the party, Molly eats all of her pancakes. She finishes her chocolate milk. She tidies her room without being told. Boomer skips along with Molly on the way to Emma's house. Happy birthday, Emma, Molly says cheerfully. Let's have some tea, says Emma. Your doll looks just like you, Emma says. Molly is so proud. I made her. Ruff, ruff, adds Boomer. Molly laughs. That means he helped too. Everyone loves Molly's new doll. I love her hair, says Farah. You match, says Sam. Can I hold her, asks we. Look at mine, says Teddy. The friends take turns pouring tea. They munch the cookies and gobble the cake. They sing happy birthday. They squeal when Emma opens her gifts and gets another new doll. Molly wishes she could stay longer, but the party is over. My friends love my doll, she tells Mama. Your doll is perfect, Molly Morningstar. She's one of a kind, just like you. Can you practice drawing your own perfect doll? Grab a sheet of paper, a pencil or some crayons, and let's see what you can do.